he actually carved these lures for me. Yee-hoo! Got me a fish! I know a lot of y'all are watching that Grand hey. Prix race Arama on the on the TV and stuff, but you know, I'm still waiting for that NASCAR to come back. So I reckon we better pick up some, some of this Latino coffee before we uh, start fishing because you know it's good luck. That's right. Yeah, let's go get some coffee. You're going to need it. I definitely need it. Yeah. Here you go, Mike. Thank you. Gasolina. Yeah, yeah. You're going to need it. You're going to catch some big fish today. Definitely. Your hair grew. Yeah. Delicioso. Mm -hmm. Billy Brian. <laughs> Billy Brian. Billy Brian Thornton. <laughs> Billy Thornton <laughs> Brian. <laughs> you, you don't like? It's beautiful. All right, guys. So back a while back, I had Connor send me some custom lures that he made when he was younger. I mean, the, he's a grown up now, but when he was a teenager, he actually carved these lures for me and wanted me to catch a fish. Now, I lost them until I started uh, moving my office and setting up a new office and I finally found these lures. So check them out, hand, hand carved homemade lures from Connor. And today we're gonna put them to the test, all right? So yeah, it's your boy, Brian with a Y, Billy Bob Brian right here. We're gonna test these new lures out and uh, actually not new lures, they're older lures, but they're new to me because I haven't used them. So we're gonna put them to the test, see if we can catch a peacock bass right now. <laughs> Now look, I got my Hispanic friends over here. Just showing that it's all one love. Come on, one love. Give me one that heart. Love. Give me that heart. <laughs> hey, Billy Brian. What's up, my guy? What's up, my guy? How you doing? So today I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna test out these lures right here. I don't, man. They're homemade good, lures good. from a young man named named Connor, oh and I uh, never got a chance to use them. Yeah. And today we're gonna use them. All right, today we're working with the uh, Kestrel Elite from Cast King, and we got the uh, homemade lure right there, hand carved. Connor, I'm putting it to the test. All right, I'm still walking with a limp, guys, but that's not gonna stop us from catching a fish. Test this out. Oop, calibration time. Let me get a test cast. Nice. It's a slow sinker, but we're gonna make it work. All right. I like to cast up underneath these pylons and stuff. Oh, I, I know y'all saw that cast, a little backhand, whoop, whoop. Let's see, I'm gonna let it sink down, kind of work it back, a little twitch here. Let's see, a little twitch, twitch, oh, twitch, oh. Twitch, I got a fish, my guy. Yee-hoo, got me a fish. I got me a fish. First cast on the Connor homemade fishing fishing lures. Woo! Look at that. Look at the size of that beauty right there. Woo! Woo! Can I flip her up? One, two, three. Look at that. Very first cast. Oh yeah. Connor, you are the man. Look at that. Beautiful fish. First cast. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, let me grab let me grab the pies. On the homemade lure, my guy. The only hillbilly we know that can just come out here with a homemade lure and just do it first cast. Look at his face. He's like, how? <laughs> That's how Hillbilly Brian does it. Oof. That's Brian with a Y. Brian. Why? Why do you ask? I don't know. <laughs> That's what my parents decided to call me. Because I got 
Head first. <laughs> if you liked the episode, make sure you like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on because I've got videos coming. I've got a Cast King MG12 review coming and I've also got a uh, Sleeper Gill review where I'm testing out a little Sleeper Gill lure to see if it works to catch bass and peacock bass and all types of other fish. So guys, again, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and heck, drop me some comments. Let me know what you want to see me do, and I just might do it. Guys, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, in tight lines. Zzz.